Bakersfield Youth Symphony Orchestra filled St. John's Lutheran Church with their orchestrations tonight after a year and a half of no concerts due to the pandemic. As part of our Rebound series, 23ABC's Kristen Vartan spoke to the young musicians about how it felt to finally perform their canceled show. In a musical composition, the word for mata means a period of time when a rest has taken place in a piece. Well, this pandemic has been a pause like that for many musicians. One of the strangest periods of our lives for sure. If I'm not going to say tragic, but certainly strangest. And um, that fermata that suddenly happened, it's now it's coming to an end. Bakersfield Youth Symphony Orchestra music director Maxime Eshkenazi calls their performance Friday night the end of the end, a beginning. 60 orchestra members picking up their instruments in tandem at St. John's Lutheran Church after canceling their March 2020 concert and not performing together for more than a year and a half. Violin soloist Brian Shee says he was sad when that show was canceled, but his family and friends got him through it. Playing online for almost a whole school year uh, can get pretty, get pretty lonely sometimes, but now that we're back together, it's, it's a great experience to have again. But she says Friday night's performance in person, which would have been what they performed in March 2020, may be his last with BYSO before he goes off to CSU Long Beach to major in music performance. Trombone player and soloist Ethan Howard finds himself in a similar position as a 2020 high school graduate headed to Azusa Pacific University to major in trombone performance. He's been in BYSO since he was in the eighth grade and says performing the Korsakoff piece originally slated for that canceled 2020 performance is a bittersweet finale. It's a little bit sad that I get to say goodbye, but it's also nice that, you know, this is a this is like a part of my last chapter, you know, because now when I'm going off to college, that's when my new chapter begins. And the next BYSO season will kick off in November, so stay tuned for that. Here in Southwest Bakersfield, Kristen Vartan, 23ABC News, connecting you.